everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. Um, just so you know, uh, I mentioned this in the last episode, this is going to be a short episode, um, just pretty much one mission, just because uh, I'm not feeling very well. I'm recording these back to back, um, just so that you guys have something to watch. Most likely I'm not going to be recording tomorrow night, because uh, I'm not feeling very well, so just want to make sure you guys have episodes to watch. So this will be a, a, probably a single mission. Now, the last episode we did do a... Um, major overhaul of our mechs, which we'll have a look at in a second. Uh, we're going to go to the star map real quick here. Uh, so we were over here, uh, sort of here somewhere. We had a flashpoint that we did. Looks like another one is generated over here now. Um, what's this one? Short, no consecutive deployments, four skulls, clan loot catch. Man, we should just jump over there and do this, 25 days. We got the sea bills to get there. Wait, who's a for and against here? Oh, come on. Uh, against the abandoned worlds, and it's for employer of the mercenary review board, clan loot cache, short mission, destroy a forward base, drop 200 tons with max weight of 50 tons. Hard. Well, we don't really have that kind of mech, so unfortunately, we don't have anything under 50 tons. Or we don't have anything under 55 tons, that is. Anyways, we jumped back over here to Lana Conning. Uh, we were fighting here before, uh, trying to keep it in Jade Falcon hands, but it's, you know, obviously been fortified. Um, so we jumped back there hoping to get some missions, and there wasn't really much, uh, unfortunately. We've got a couple of missions, a two and a half skull, which I don't want to take... Um, today, but I think we'll take the Hide the Evidence mission and destroy base at Five Skulls against pirates for the local government. We won't shift anything on the planet, but it'll at least give us a chance to uh, test out our new mech here. So let's go to the mech base. So we did some major overhauls here on our mechs. Um, so I brought forward the uh, the uh, Mjolnir and the Exterminator between episodes just so that we have them in the bays now that we can work on getting those up and running. I'm um, hoping to generate more sea bills over, over the next little while. Um, the Timberwolf went through a major, timber, well actually both of them went through a major refit. They're both pretty much almost identical. Um, what we've got now is an Ultra 20 auto cannon in the right arm, uh, along with an ER medium laser with a weapon mount. And in the left arm we've got an ER medium and an ER large. We've got 11 turns of case, fire, uh, case protected uh, Ultra 20 ammo split between two torsos. Uh, Nova CWS, obviously. Um, we've got uh, fire control system advanced. Um, sorry, fire, uh, an auto cannon fire control system on this particular Mac. We don't actually in the other one, but in this one we do. We have TTS ballistic in this one. So this Mac will be um, uh, really, really good with the Ultra 20 um, and okay with the lasers, whereas the other Timberwolf is going to be pretty good with all of them. Um, it's just kind of the way it worked out. I didn't have the same materials to put in both mechs, but as far as the weapon loadout, it's identical. Uh, the only difference is the uh, fire control systems and stuff. They're slightly different. Uh, the night gear remained the same. Missile loadout with Artemis uh, fire support. Um, a variety of ammo so we can hit people with chaff, narc, um, incendiary if we need it. We got LK ammo, swarm ammo, and thunder, I believe. Uh, we got thunder in here. We got Aero Fast Scan, that's right, Narrow Inferno. So we've got a wide variety of rounds for this thing to uh, support our mechs with. Oh yeah, we do have LRM Swarm. Um, and then the Black Knight, the uh, Red Reaper. Let's have a refit look on this guy. Not impressed with the loadout, I have to say. It's okay for what it is, uh, but just okay. Now we've got uh, minus 20, minus 35, minus 50% damage, 55% damage reduction for this guy. Uh, so this guy is going to be a nightmare for the enemy to kill. Uh, it's got two ER PPCs, an ER large laser, and two our ER mediums. With a TTS energy, so we got double, double uh, plus energy. We have upper energy on the arms, giving the PPCs a better chance to hit. Uh, fire control system energy, which gives us increased uh, range, uh, crit chance, and accuracy. Um, and then enhanced imaging with plus one accuracy, and it's sensors tracker with plus one accuracy. These have one recoil, which is negated by the enhanced imaging, so, um, and I don't think these upper energy reduce anything now. So, I mean, overall it's pretty good. We have a Viro Sword, which is taking up seven tons of space, and because I've dedicated this, um, 
clan series to not using melee at all it's basically seven tons of dead space on this arm which there really isn't much we can do about it unfortunately uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna outfit the other black knight but this guy's got minus 55 percent damage reduction so this is going to be the mech that's going to be taking the pounding if we can if we can actually put it into that right position with really good heat sinking um and massive uh shutdown um we should be good and then the two er mediums we can cycle on or off to uh maintain our heat efficiency we've got really good range with these guys like these are this is uh with the uh fire control system energy and griff this is going to be uh, 900 meters range and this is going to be a 1200 meter range so it's going to be just a long range powerhouse just hammering people from a distance um, using pinpoint damage to uh, hopefully rip off uh, legs or heads or whatever so that's the goal with this mech all right so let's take that mission now the five skull as soon as it comes back here here we go all right let's go five skull against pirates we've got the sea bills so we're going to go for salvage go full out and accept this Maybe there's a clan mech in here that we can use. I don't know. So the last episode, Griff was on his own in the Stormcrow. Did pretty well. But let's bring in the Red Reaper here. Timberwolf C, D, and the Night Gear. And we got Mockingbird coming in in the super accurate um, Ultra 20 Timberwolf. And then we got Sundance in the other one. And we got Six Pack following up the rear here with the Night Gear. So let's deploy and get this done. All right, restricted area, eh? Please fire on us. I can't wait to see what our defensive ability is like now. All right, they're up the hill here. Oh, wow, I haven't played in this map in a long time. Uh, there should be reinforcements on this side. We took a mission here a long time ago. Um, yeah, let's get up here. All right. Orders. All right. So I'm kind of half back to my speed builds here. Um, with the uh, earlier clan builds, it was always a fast speed um, attack build, um, which is kind of my favorite play style. And then I kind of shifted when they changed the rules slightly. I shifted to the um, to the stealth build, uh, and now I'm kind of partially back to the speed build again. Uh, at least I am in my other series for sure. I might as well stand on the rough terrain because why not? Okay. Standing by. Uh, you know what? We're going to reserve. Reporting enemy contact. All right, we got somebody over here. What do we got? Athena. 55 tonner. What do you say we say hello? Well, we can see a lot of people now. Annihilator. Okay, good thing I moved in. Haramoto Kazi. A black hat. Ooh, pirate. Timberwolf pirate. Railgun artillery emplacement. Well, I think there's really no question what we're shooting for. Uh, we're loading this up because we got to get rid of that shit really fast. Firing. That's got to go. So one of the things I'd like to get on the night gear, and I'm contemplating pulling off the arrow system again, is a um, advanced AMS system. And the reason for it, um, we can see that turret? We can. The reason for it is, um, actually, you know what? No, we're going to go right against the Annihilator. Because fuck him. Uh, sorry. I don't want to be cheating here. Come on, man. Okay, here we go. Uh, sorry, I just, you know, Warlord and multi-target. I don't want to cheat like that. Uh, so let's fire on this guy. We want to go for his leg. I think we just hammer him. Um, 
What was I saying again? I was talking about something. Sorry, I'm <laughs> having a bit of a hard time today. Uh, all right, the arrow system. So I want to pull out the arrow system, I think, because I want to get um, this night, night gear always takes a hammering. So let's pull back here. Um, I want to um, get a bunch of more su more support. I think the, the LRM-30, it just really, really isn't doing what we needed to do. Uh, what about LK here? A little better chance to hit. We're not going to get enough on that turret. Not with this guy. That's a really bad chance to hit. Just in case, whatever, we don't kill that turret. Although, yeah, we'll never hit that way. Just, ah, well, just fire. fire. Got some chaff on that guy. Chaff on that guy. Make it harder for him to hit. So if we don't hit him next turn, or hit him this turn, hopefully we can deal with the railgun missing. Uh, wow. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, uh, the arrow system, while it's kind of, it works out okay, um, it's just a lot of weight, and I think if we go back to the, um, if we go back to the uh, multi-LRM loadout, and then put a laser, or, or not a laser AMS, but uh, the advanced AMS system on this thing, let's switch all these to B, just to make sure we get it, and ultra to A and fire. Oh, for Christ's sake. Okay, at least he can't see us. Waiting for orders. Please, same thing. Exact same thing, please. And firing. Okay, there's that turret gone. Target destroyed. Thank you, and you can just back up. Thank you. Rolling. Um, so I want to kind of get it in a little bit more of a support role. Um, it's it is kind of right now, but not really where I want it. Firing ah, shit. Well. At least we don't have to worry about him shooting at us. Might be some good salvage there. Yeah, maybe. And yeah, maybe you're a Chinese jet pilot. Receiving you. Um so let's look at the I don't think you need to move. I think we can go after these turrets back here. What do we got? Railgun artillery emplacement. Arrow four turret. Well, Railgun needs direct line of sight. So let's go after this guy. Really bad chances to hit, but we're firing it. Well, let's Warlord it then. Because why not? Roger that. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Look at this. Look at, look at, look at how far is it going to go. Wait, let's see it. Is it going to land on somebody? Nah, well. Nice shot, though. Alright, Griff, let's see what you can do. Can we get a good shot at this, uh, Hadamorikaze? I guess we can't. You know what? Let's not... Let's not uh, get that Athena looking at us right away. And we'll just fire straight at this guy. He's got a pair of PPCs. Alright. 
So yeah, I mean the LRM30, I don't know, I'm not really that impressed with it. I don't think they can see us. I mean, that's the benefit of having all Nova CWSs as well. That minus 50% sensor detection is just amazing. Having the uh, command console in the night gear lets us see these guys before they can even sense where we are. Okay, he can see us. He can see the night gear anyway. Uh, so we're going to go again on the same turret. So there was the question, I mean, we used to target the uh, structures underneath the turrets and stuff. And a question was raised as if you could, if you could attack ground and go after that. So we're going to try it here. Now I tried it once before and it didn't really work. I don't think it's going to work. Um, any rate laser AMS, yeah. So the thing I hate about that. So we're going to attack this structure and see if it actually does anything to the wall. Like it's hard to tell with that, right? It's a damaging everything. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. How are you taking heavy hits? Did you like damage yourself, dude? Somehow you damaged yourself? How did you damage yourself? Standing by. Dude, you're drunk. Told you not to pilot the damn mech when you're drunk. I'm there. All right, let's say hello to this guy. And you as well, but we're going to sprint you over here instead. Let's get you in the trees. And shoot this guy. I believe we have black hat parts. I'm interested to see what these guys can do against Griff here. Okay, we got a good head hit on him. Now we can take his head off, hopefully. So it's kind of a cool looking, like it look, does look like a knight, for sure. Come on, shoot me. They're not shooting. Is it because the chance is just so low to hit, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Ooh, that's hot. My heat is getting pretty high. I can see that, girl. Damage reduction isn't doing anything. Did they shoot their own buildings over there? Looked like they shot their own damn buildings. Okay, do we need... we're gonna need some of this. Better chance on this guy. Soften that guy up a bit. Let's walk over here. Uh, we want to soften the same guy, probably. Soften him up a bit. And wow, look at that, eh? Oh, we took his head off. Well, that works too. Ready for orders. On my way. Got to split up here a little bit. Um, just going to go right for the turret. Wow. Really, eh? On it. Let's 
Yeah, a lot of stuff's taking damage over there. So apparently all our damage reduction is doing nothing. Supposedly we're supposed to have 55%, but it doesn't look like we do. Those should have all been ones. See ya. Took that one right in the face. This Athena won't last through next turn. Destroying their own building. Apparently not. Apparently they're hitting us too, somehow. Alright, I, I, I'm officially not liking this mech. Because the damage reduction is doing nothing. And for the waste of seven tons because of the sword, I think we're going to... Uh, Unless I'm somehow, I mean, please tell me guys if I'm somehow missing something here, but at 55% plus, you know, entrenched and everything is like 65 or whatever it is, or 75%, um, I should be taking almost nothing, but apparently it's not working that way, so I'm, I'm missing something somewhere. I'm liking the Timberwolf loadouts, so that's for damn sure. These Ultra 20s are friggin' devastating. But we haven't faced assaults yet, so... Um, we'll have to see how that goes. Reporting critical hit. We need to get their eyes off, so... Take care of this guy. Receiving you. Um... Go for headshots, because why not? Oh, I took damage too. Reporting critical hit. Oh, we got a head hit on the pilot. You're not, but that's fine. Yeah, well. Okay, that's a wall attack or building. Oh, we can target the building. Uh, we don't need all this. I don't know if he can see us. Kind of taking a chance. Receiving you. On my way. Stay in the trees. Good to go. Go for the better chance to hit. Thumper artillery, eh? Target. Well, we've done a lot of damage to this guy, so just keep going. I'm here. All right, let's finish this guy up. Target destroyed. Orders. On my way. Standing by. 
out. Let's get a little closer anyway. Um, sure, why not? We've already partially damaged it. Well, it looks like we hit. Kind of shocked that we're not getting more damage reduction, unless those shields only work against melee. Reading you. Which would explain a lot. There was a position here we saw that we had there. <sighs> Putting too much risk on it. Uh, Warlord, confirm. Fire everything. All are go. Nicely done. That's a kill. Sure is. Ready for orders. Roger, full speed. Straight on this guy, please. Everything. Warlord. Just just I don't want to miss. Fire. Nicely done. Alright, let's finish this up. My head is already starting to thump here. Um, yeah. Okay, six pack. So, don't know. Is this an applicable military building? Well, let's just do this. Um, that. Of course. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Yes, Commander. Holy fuck. <sighs> That's some fucking bullshit right there. Alright guys, so I'm like zoomed in on this area here for pilot lethal damage. I'm going to step through this one frame at a time here. So there's the explosion. It's in instant head hit. Structure's instantly exposed. 33 damage. You can see it's penetrated the internal structure. So right here. It's either 33 or 23 and then we go forward a few frames. There's another 33 here and 47. And another 47. Three. And then at this point it's all the little finigly damage. You can see the 47 right here. So it hit the head like multiple times somehow. And there's all the small damage that goes to the body. What the fuck? So... I don't even know what to say about that. Anyway, back to the game. I have no idea what the fuck happened. It said 47. She was never hit in the head. Before that point. I'm going to have to go back and watch that again, but that is just some fucking bullshit right there. Wow. I don't even know what to say to that. Uh... 
uh, whatever. We gotta take the arrow system off. That's just ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. Wow. I lost a pilot for that, eh? Oh my god. Yep, well, RIP Sundance. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Yeah, don't, so, don't sound so excited, buddy. Oh, man. Killed by friendly fire, the worst way to go. Not the absolute worst way. Accident is the worst way to go. It's the same thing, though. Well, let's have a look at the Timberwolf. Or the Black Cat, that is. Ah, not much we can really do about that now. Let's refit this guy. Let's have a look. 75 tons. So this is the pirate version. Oh, we got the engine. Well, I got a lot of stuff on this one. A lot of stuff on this one. Pretty easy to fix, too. Let's confirm that. Because I think I'm going to pull the Red Reaper out. Log and note. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm thinking that those sh combat shields really only affect melee because we couldn't have been 55% less damage. Even the swarm missiles were doing 3 points, which is only a reduction of like around 40%. Which is just enough from the Feral Lamellar and the, wa and the Bracing. So... We weren't getting the reduction that we should have been getting. So the combat shield is basically only good against melee, I would imagine. Like, it doesn't seem like it's performing like it should. So I'm thinking that we're going to be all that, like, that's three and a half million C bills right down the drain. I think we refit this guy. Well, it's almost better just to do the same loadout on the, on the Timberwolf. And we got better hard points, for one. We can mix and match weapons. It's easier for heat management. Um, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we'll pull, once this once this guy is fixed, we'll pull him completely out of service and drop him um, and get this Timberwolf up and running for the mainland. So we'll have we'll have uh, three Timberwolves in the night gear. Um, and then in the next lance, we'll have um, Stormco Prime and these three. I mean, you could argue that technically this guy's probably better than the Stormcrow Storm Prime, but I need the components from it, though. And this guy's already outfitted and easy to repair. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right, well, not much we can do about this mission. We lost another pilot. It's sad to see that, but... Uh, that was like the friendly fire thing too, which is like the, ah, oh man, really? Let's do this. So that we're back in 15, well, seven days. This black hat will be back and then we can outfit it. Um, yeah, we got plenty of time before the financial report to get some more sea bills here, but this planet doesn't offer us anything else really. So we're going to move to a new planet while we're repairing. Um, See how that goes. And I think, I mean, our lance performed really well in this mission. Just that stupid, I don't even know how that happened. 
Like, how does that... Ugh, man. I don't know. Something about artillery and headshots. It's, I mean, even, like, the long toms getting headshotted by a long tom. I don't know. Maybe it's airburst. Maybe it's something. I don't know what it is, but some kind of weird-ass shit going on. Uh, it was almost like the arrow system hit her and then it landed or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch that when I'm editing. Anyway, I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. I'd be interested to hear what you think about the loadouts uh, as they currently are. I think both Tim Werewolves are working well, but the uh, um, Red Reaper, I don't know. Maybe I'm, mis uh, maybe I'm mistaken about those two combat shields. Maybe one is overriding the other. Maybe we need to take one out. I don't know. Or take the one that we put in out. Um, I don't know. Uh, give me your thoughts in the comment section, all right? And until next time, we'll see you later.